the 2030 climate and energy framework and the proposal that the European Commission tabled on the 22nd of January of this year is a big topic of conversation in Brussels right now. And you see a lot of the debate is starting to form around a few ideas that's influenced by a couple of the big players and a few of the big countries. And sometimes what gets lost is experience from reality, experience that we're seeing on the ground in Europe, and in particular the kinds of things that cities are doing to advance energy efficiency and renewable energy. So WWF and ICLE have worked together to launch a call for action that reflects what we see as being possible and necessary from European policy to support cities and regions in their work, and at the same time to reflect the fact that there's a lot of ambition around Europe. And despite some of the negativity, some of these stories you hear about renewable energy costing too much money, or it's just too difficult for Europe to act when the rest of the world doesn't act, all of these stories are very abstract. But cities work in reality, and cities are doing these kinds of things right now. Many of them have ambitions that go far beyond what is being considered at European level. And so there's a message from those cities to European policymakers, which is we are willing and able, and in fact already committed, to doing more on climate and energy. What we need from you is we need a framework that makes it easier for our governments at national level, at regional level, at European level, to support us in that work. The call for action uh, will give a an, an clear message to the European Commission, to the European Parliament and to the European Council uh, to recognize the efforts and the successes and the ambitions and the potentials that we have at the local level. Cities and regions actually are the ones where the climate and energy ambitions of the European Union uh, will be implemented by their activities, by their infrastructural solutions, by their developments. Uh, and uh, they are so far not appropriately recognized. Uh, and we have cities and provinces uh, that show already now uh, that we can be more ambitious in the European Union. Well, the city of Malmö has, uh, since more than 10 years, a very ambitious strategy to uh, become uh, carbon neutral and also to run on 100% uh, renewable energy by 2030. When you start uh, trying to do innovative solutions like wind power on a roof or green roofs or new types of insulations or day water systems or even smart grid solutions, uh, all of a sudden small companies start to develop around that. So we have seen an, ev an, an evolution in Malmo around new startups, uh, high-tech companies, clean-tech companies and so on that we didn't have uh, 10 years ago and uh, without having any scientific proof I, I do believe that they're, they're linked together.